Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. We are finally enjoying some spring-like weather here in the Midwest. It's been slow in coming, and so I may sound a little sniffly because the allergies are really getting to me, but I'm happy to see the sunshine and to have some warm days. I think actually we're skipping spring and jumping right into summer based on today's forecast. 80 something later today is expected. And speaking of spring, I wanted to show you this cute pad of paper, butterflies and flowers. I picked it up at Joann's. I didn't get the really great deal a couple weeks ago that others got, but I did get a discount on it with um, the store sale of 40% off. I loved this. It wasn't what I was looking for, but I found it there, came across it, fell in love with it, and of course had to buy it. If you're like me, you say, I'm not going to buy any more paper, and then you go and you look at paper, and of course there's that one pad you have to have. So I want to make a lot of floral-themed, garden-themed, nature-themed journals this summer, this spring, and this, I think, will work really well. So I will just thumb through and show you the pads, or paper in the pad. Um, I'm not real familiar with paper companies yet, but it says DC, the WV, Butters, Butterflies and Flowers, Premium Stack, and it is two-sided, so that's kind of nice when you're making a junk journal anyway. You have something on both sides, and you don't have to think of how to fill in a lot of white space, which maybe sometimes gets to be a little bit long. I'm going to slide this over so you can see both at once. Looks like there's two of each. Tiny flowers here, yellow, pink, and purple. It's probably hard to see on the screen. And then this one has texture to it. You can kind of feel the butterflies. They're like uh, glossy. And I think that is really pretty. I've always loved purples. And then it has these different cut apart cards. Let your dreams blossom, spread love everywhere you go, things like that. Cute little birds, butterflies, flower themed ones. And the back is kind of fun. I like that. A lot of neat, bright colors. I think this one's really cool. I'll do by twos. And then the uh, more white space one. I, I think that's a real pretty picture. But I kind of like it when it's filled in a little bit more. Kind of a spider web, I guess. This one's cute. Little yellow and turquoise colored birds in the leaves. And this is another really nice one. Another butterfly. Obviously, it's butterfly and flower themed, so that's what we'll be seeing. But I, I've come to where I really like butterfly things. They weren't my favorite, but over the past several months I've enjoyed those papers a lot, so I'll probably be doing more with butterflies. This is a really pretty gold. It could also be used for fall, I think. And then I'm into this yellowish gold and these greens, so that really appeals to me. And then this is a cute smaller pattern using the same colors. The back of this, I love all these little birds on the yellow background. I think that's really cute. And then this one is probably one of my favorites of the pack. All these different ones. Gray background. Doesn't look as springy to me there, but I think this is pretty. And then that one. And then this is a real pretty pattern. Just a kind of simple over and over repetition there, but real pretty colors. So it'd be fun to put an embellishment on there or a pocket or something in your junk journal. This one's feathers. And there's a more plain page with just the butterflies in the corner. I'm hoping, hoping that's visible. I'll slide it up a little. And a pretty green with pink and white and yellow daisies. And that's, I, I really, I really like that. And then here's some more cards. All good things are wild and free. Find beauty in every day. Lots of cards. It'll be fun to embellish maybe some of those plainer papers when you make a book out of it. That's what I do with scrapbooking paper generally these days is make junk journals. I'm sure there's lots of other uses. This is a bold print. And this one has some of that glossy effect. Not all of it, but these flowers are like a slick feel. 
that's neat too. It's maybe not my favorite look, but I think that's really pretty. And combined with all of these, the variety I think would just make a really, really fun journal. Life is beautiful. This is a gingham. If you can't see that on the on the screen, it's a light and dark pink. And then a big bold circle or dot there. And then that's the end. I think it's 36 sheets. Yep. 12 sheets with treatment. I'll turn it around this way now so you can see it in case you want to hunt that down. I got it at Joann's. It says with gold foil and gloss. So I will be showing you some of my nature journals and flowery themed ones as I finish them. But that's all for now. I just wanted to show you this pad of paper because I think it's so cute and would be great in summertime journals. Maybe you'd like to find one yourself. Use those Joanne coupons and, and go get one. We will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.